Okay, I'm gonna try the lift. Always oh, chasing. Yes, yes. Oh, baby. Come on. Oh, be a walleye. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. You guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Look at that. Good morning. It is seven o'clock today. We are about to embark on a wild adventure. We are gonna to attempt to fish, to ice fish for 24 hours straight. And they're like, Jay, will you fish for 30 hours straight? Well, I, we fished for 30 hours, but we had some naps in between. It wasn't just straight 30 hours of fishing. I'm gonna to attempt to fish for a straight 24 hours. Uh, we've got a pretty special location lined up, which is gonna make it a little bit easier. We are about to hit the sunrise bite if, if we can pull it off in time. About an hour till sunrise to get all of our gear set up and we will see you guys in a bit. There it is. We have found it, the mothership. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, baby. Good morning. How are you? Good, really good. Is this the new one? This is not the new one. Ooh, doggy. How booked are the ice castles right now? Like half booked? Half booked. Yeah. And half. you just bought another one. And I bought another one. Amazing. So now we have even more availability if you want it. His phone number is below. All right, Jane, you're going to set up the new one? Are you going to let me fish in the new one yet or no? Maybe later. What's at this spot? Perch? Perch, you know, some walleye too. Big walleyes actually. Hopefully you get one. Goodbye, Jaden. Thanks Goodbye. for thanks for everything. All right, that was my buddy Jaden from Northwest Outfitters. Uh, if you want to rent one of these, you can do it. There's a link below. I'm going to talk more about it yet, but uh, I want to get fishing. If we're actually going to pull off this 24 hour thing, here's like the most key piece of living in an ice shack is some slippers. It's uh, it's 7.20. We're going for 24 hours. I got some camera gear to set up. I want to get fishing as soon as possible. I'll, I'll give you a little run through. I, I did a video last year called Fishing in a $35,000 Ice Shack, which was fishing in this very shack. I gave you guys a full breakdown. Um, I'm going to just throw the camera on a tripod, get the live scope set up, see what we're dealing with. I think we're just fishing a deeper mud flat. And we got some live minnows, some jigging spoons. All right, let's open these suckers up, see if Jaden actually drilled holes for me. What a nice guy. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty comfy. Got the slippers on. We are in the ice castle. What is an ice castle, you might ask? It is the most bougie, over-the-top ice shack you've ever seen. We'll talk more about it yet, but I'm feeling good. We got a fish. We got a fish slithering on the left. Everyone, calm down. Over here, got split shot, octopus hook, live minnow. On the right, small tungsten jig, live minnow. I didn't bring much for food, so I'm really hoping we're gonna catch some fish. I like this split shot and minnow on the dead stick just because that fish can eat it and there isn't any resistance right away, especially with that dip stick. It's a super soft rod, so if he does chow it, we're gonna have some time. I think he's gonna chow the dead stick. Oh, fish coming in on the right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I lost him. I know I mentioned this a couple of videos ago, but you don't have that same bottom separation with the live scope transducer in there. Hugging the bottom, it is tough to see what's going on. Someone was asking me recently, how do you keep your dead stick from going in? And I don't know, as long as you're like monitoring it pretty closely, you don't have it right on the edge of the hole, you kind of have some time when the fish eats it. I mean, maybe a pike could hit it and run, but I don't know if you're somewhat attentive, your rod isn't gonna get pulled in. Resting on top of a bucket's okay. Oh, he just turned on. There's a mark coming in on the right pretty quick. Pretty quick, right towards my jig. Belly to the bottom. Ready for that breakfast walleye. Oh, come on. Oh, the minnow's just freaking out. She's freaking out. Eat it. Yeah, you just ate it. Oh! Felt my minnow get ripped off there. Here's what we're using today on the drench. I know I probably sound like a bit of a broken record here, but that's what I like to use, a tungsten jig. I, I'll probably switch to a jigging spoon on here for something a little more active since we got a very slow presentation on the other rod, but I just have so much confidence with these tiny jigs. I don't know, it just, they work. Hey, good morning, Jake. How are you? Good, how you doing, man? Good. Was there? Yeah, like a little bit of it. Oh, nice yeah. mark coming in. Oh, this fish is just streaking in. Got him. You're good luck, Blaine. First fish of the day. Right We're in the ice castle right now. I'm on the phone with my buddy Blaine, and we got our first going? fish of the day. As if. Blaine, everybody wants you back on the video. Oh, oh I don't know about that. Nice little sauger. Awesome, buddy. Hello. All right, take care. Blaine Zirkin, he's good luck. All right, guys, I'm not sure if you heard that. 
but this is VIP service. Jaden is moving. He checked uh, he checked a different a different spot, and there was enough ice, so we're moving a little bit shallower. But he's gonna roll us over. I'll probably get a couple shots of it moving outside because it's pretty cool how this whole process works. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. So what's the plan? We're gonna drill the holes and then we drill two holes, get you all lower it down again, then. Lower it, lower it down again, and then you can catch some some fish this time. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. That was Jaden. Jaden Simons, JS shares my initials. Shares my love of fishing, big bucks, the outdoors, fast food, long walks on the beach. Guys, we are done. Hour number two. Twenty-two hours left to go. We've caught one small sauger. We are very cozy. We are wearing our slippers. Yeah, we're feeling good. Feeling fresh. We moved spots. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a rockier bottom here, less mud. I think we're in about yeah, around 30 feet of water. And yeah, it's gonna happen. We got the TV here. I don't know if you can see this. We'll give you a little tilt. We got the flat screen and let's see what movies Jaden has. Oh boy, we've got a lot of options. John Wick. Whitetail Warrior, Jim Shockey. Look at this. Jim Shockey in his prime. What else we got? The Kingsman, Spider-Man, Shrek, Elf, Home Alone. All sorts of goodies in here. If the fish don't happen to be biting, you know, you can have a nap, which I'm not gonna do. You could watch TV, you could bring your gaming console along. I might try dropping the underwater camera down yet to see if there's any visibility here. So in order to fish 24 hours, I learned a couple tricks from the Conrad brothers. And it's a little something called five hour energy. I'm not sure how many of these you're actually supposed to take in a 24 hour period. We got some five hour energies, a couple of these monsters to go along with the monster wall I'm about to catch. We got the, the, the healthy one, the, the zero ultra. It's probably gonna give me some sort of disease. Uh, and then we got the coffee. And then I don't know what this is, rain energy. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna try to hold off as long as I can because those energy drinks, you gotta get a big rise and then you, you kind of crash pretty hard. So yeah, that's my update for you. We are switching to, is that focusing? There we go. We're switching to a dinner bell. White glow, white and pink. The micro, the smallest size. I was playing with the underwater camera and now there's a couple big marks here. Oh, that one big mark might be the underwater camera. We good, rolling. Uh, fishing is kind of slow. Very comfy, very cozy. Haven't really left the shack too much. Um, haven't eaten anything yet. It's, what time is it? 12.47. Um, yeah, one sauger. Saw a pike on the camera. I don't think it was recording yet when I saw the pike. Saw some other massive suspended mark uh, that interacted with my lure a little bit. I think it's time for some lunch or breakfast or whatever you want to call it. I, I guess I ate breakfast this morning, so lunch. It's all about the evening bite. Prime time, as we call it. Welcome to Jay's kitchen. Jaden even supplied me with a pan. Bacon, this is way too much. And that's the beauty of it. Even if the fish aren't biting, you can eat bacon. Just, oh my goodness. How do I turn this off? Oh no, what's that? I don't, where's, the, where's the smoke alarm in here? Where's the smoke alarm? Things are bad. Bacon is done. The key to being able to fish for 24 hours straight is healthy eating, drinking lots of water. As you can see, it's a nice well-rounded diet of bacon, franks, and eggs. We have this large water jug that tells you how much water you should drink in 12 hours. These are the key hours right now because this will set me up for success later. If I started crushing energy drinks now and junky food, I mean, this is pretty bad food. What am I saying? Nice little breakfast wrap here. Mm. Fish coming up to my jig and spoon. It actually looks interested. Oh! Finally! Finally! This fish is so small. Are we recording? Wow, we are recording after all that. And we have a micro, micro, ah, 
It's actually a decent sized perch. We're gonna keep this guy to eat. Wow, look at this, look at this hunchback. Is that crazy? There you go. Come on, why, why don't you wanna eat the jigging spoon? What do you not like about a jigging spoon? Like these fish are in such a bad mood. It's so quiet. There's another big fish coming in, another big fish on the left. It is prime time, guys, it is 3.35. Sunset is like 4.15, I'm about to drop my dinner bell freshly charged right on this fish's head. I wish I had tungsten right now because it would drop so fast. We need some commitment out of these fish. Okay, this looks a little bit different. This looks a little bit different. Did he eat it? Got him, fish on. Ooh, we just lost it. Oh, and I just darted away. I feel like a big perch, man. Oh, he's coming back. Look at this. Look at this. You see how fast he came back? He's gonna eat it again right now. He just ate it. Oh, that was some sloppy stick handling. Is that live minnow about to get eaten? Oh, it's nervous. Oh, it's nervous. Oh, I just got one here. There we go. Prime time. That's why you gotta stick it out. Oh, there we go. That might be dinner. Yeah, he's a little small. Look at that angry, angry sauger. I switched to the tungsten. Obviously it's prime time, so you can't say it's just the lure change, but all right, going back. Oh, there that fish is again. Just belly to the bottom. Oh, he's right under my jig. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. That's a little better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finally, I'm thinking this might be an eater walleye. Doesn't feel big, but holy smokes after how we grinded it out today. That's a big fat sauger. They're getting bigger. Well, I could sure use a bigger one. Let's catch another one. All right, time for a little exercise. Gotta get the blood flowing. We're on hour nine. We're gonna do this. We just gotta stay awake. We gotta stay off the energy drinks as long as we can. The longer we can go without energy drinks, the better, because the, the crash is gonna be bad. Oh, there's something suspended. Oh, oh, look at this. I was reeling up high, and I'll, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how big that fish is. Look how big that fish is. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm gonna pee myself. My whole body's tingling. Oh, please eat. No. No, that was it. Oh my goodness, I can barely breathe. Oh, that was, oh, that was bad. I got rejected so hard there. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Will I get another chance? All right, he's coming up for it. Ooh, baby. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. Another perch and we got dinner. Nope, a little too small of a Walter. Sauger, I mean. That's what, all I'm using, just ripping this live minnow in half and putting it on that glow tungsten. That's been, I think, the most effective. I mean, I think a big fish is gonna come in and kind of eat whatever. It'll eat a full live minnow or a big jigging spoon or whatever, but I do want to catch some more fish for dinner. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Something interesting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's better. That is better. That fish just came in wanting to eat. Please stay pinned. Come on, baby. Finally, persistence paid off. Look at that gold, I need to zoom in just a touch. There we go. And we got our first good bite. Awesome, that is gonna be dinner. All right, I like to move the camera for once in a while so it's not quite as boring for you guys. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. 24 hours is a lot of fishing. Wow. Why am I yawning already? Whew. Thanks buddy, I'm about to catch one.
Thanks, buddy. Take care. See ya. Oh, that fish was all over me. I was on the phone with Ryan Bonin, videographer extraordinaire. His daughter's YouTube channel, Avery Rose. And holy smokes, yes. Yes. Shout out to Avery Rose, Ryan Bonin. Check out our YouTube channel. Ryan has taught me lots about videography. And I dedicate this walleye to him. The sun is set and the walleyes are still biting. We got one more for dinner. I'm gonna actually take this guy home. Uh, prime time was good. We got two two nice eater walleyes, and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be eating good tonight. I think we're just gonna eat one of them. I don't know. This is fun. Just want to do something different. Test myself. I mean, may, maybe catch a big fish. That would be a nice bonus. But we're catching walleyes. This is like this is real. This is happening. Hour ten. Hour ten. Hour ten is complete. I don't know. Jaden said he's gonna come check on me, and he's setting up his other. Ice Castle. We're gonna take this moment to tell you all about the Ice Castle deal. Jaden, Northwest Outfitters. My most viewed video ever was in his Ice Castle last year. We caught some big lake trout, caught some walleye, caught some burbot, had a blast in it. I'm back in the same one, but he just bought a new one. I'll show you, insert some shots here. That's his new ice castle. If you want to fish Lake of the Woods through the ice, and if you want to take take the family, you know, take take a beginner, this is such a good way. It doesn't have to be a beginner. You can be an experienced fisherman, you can still appreciate this because it's so comfortable. And even when the fishing isn't great, you can cook, you can watch movies, which I'm gonna take advantage of later, you know, have a nap if you're not trying to do some crazy fishing marathon, but I don't know, it's a pretty cool experience. I, I think everybody should try it. And you know, if this is this can be your getaway, this can be your trip. Unfortunately, there's not too much traveling happening right now. So if you wanna do something different, get out of the house. I will be linking him below. It's been great so far. I'm pumped for Jaden. He's been booking up like last year. He had a great year this year. His first ice castle is almost booked for all the weekends and now it's filling up super fast. He went and bought the second one and I think he's gonna have a really great year. Uh, just a great young business owner from Kenora crushing it. He's, he's a fishing guide first. And you know, he's always maintaining the castles, moving them to where the bite is. So you're not just getting the rental of a location, you're getting the knowledge and you know, he's on top of things. and gonna make sure that you're on your best shot possible to catch some fish because everybody wins if you catch fish, right? So that's my spiel. I thought I would do it before I get to a loopy, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to fishing, I guess. <laughs> what else are we doing? Big mark coming on the bottom. Big mark coming on the bottom. I don't know if it's actually big. I say they're all big. Ooh, he's gonna, you think he's gonna eat it? He's just on top of it. I'm just waiting for the thump. I'll try to just tease him away a bit. Oh, he's acting so weird. Yes, got him on the way down. This is a decent fish. This is the biggest fish we've hooked so far. Oh, oh baby. I don't think it's huge, but it's the biggest fish so far. Come on. These small hooks, I just like to have a little looser drag. Oh, come on, baby. Wow, I thought he was a lot bigger. That's kind of embarrassing. I thought he was way bigger. Nice walleye, though. She gone. My buddy, Naoto Aoki, great photographer, hunter, fisherman. I uh, filmed a bear hunt with him a while ago. A while ago, a couple years ago. And uh, it's tough to stay awake sometimes in the bear blind. And I said, how do you stay awake? And he said, pulling, pulling your nose hairs is a great way to wake yourself up. So when you start to fade, if you have nose hairs, just grab one and give it a yank. And it just is the most uncomfortable feeling. And it just shoots some uh, um, adrenaline through your body, I guess you might say. I'm a big fan of Mio, that uh, stuff you squirt in your water to give it a little flavor. This is the uh, compliments, whatever brand compliments is. Pull a little in our water. Big fish all over my jig. I don't know if it's big. Always oh, about to eat it. This is gonna be an awkward hook set. Oh, oh no! Oh no! That was so bad. That was so bad. Ah! And he's still down there. 
Oh, there's two down there right now. Oh, oh my goodness. I need to get down. I need to get down. I need to get down. Please, 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 please. Come on. There's two fish down there. I'll take the bigger one, please. Ooh, the one on the right looks bigger. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. They're still there. They're just kind of belly to bottom right now. He likes what he smells. Ooh, he's chasing. I'm doing the lift. Doing the lift, wait. Yes. Redemption. You'll be a decent little walleye. Oh, love it. This guy is coming home with me. Some snacks. He's got it. We got him. We got him. I was FaceTiming with Sam and we got a fish on and it's, I think a burbot maybe. We were FaceTiming with Sam and Rudy. I don't know. Could be a burbot. Could be a walleye. What do we got? I was not paying attention. The GoPro live scope cam died. I'm thinking it's, ah, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, nice walleye. Biggest walleye of the day. I was FaceTiming with Sam. I looked down and there was a big mark on the screen and he had already eaten my jig at that point. Oh man, what time is it? Eight o'clock and we got our biggest walleye of the day. So awesome. Going back. That's gonna keep me awake if walleyes keep coming through like that. Sam, what do you have to say to everybody at home? I told you for the first fish not to do anything. You went wiggle, 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 and you lost it. Sam told me not to jig it last time and then the fish went away. This time I did nothing. I wasn't even paying attention. I was FaceTiming with Sam and biggest walleye of the night of the day. Hour 13, hour 12, I don't even know where we're at. That's what's it, just a little ripped tail. The, the crazy thing is, is just that fish, I looked down and saw the mark, the live scope cam wasn't rolling so I don't have any footage to play back, but I think that fish just came in and inhaled it and was just chewing on it for a while. And that's a thing about a soft rod like this, and that's why for your dead stick rod or even for your main jigging rod, like, can you see how whippy that is? Like, that right there, that fish can pick it up and hold onto it for a while. If it was a pool cue, if it was just like as stiff as this part of the rod, it just, the fish would feel it and, and try to shake it. He might hook himself still. You can still catch fish doing that, but just that little forgiveness in the rod tip. Maybe, maybe it was why I caught that fish, maybe not. Maybe Sam's good luck on the FaceTime, but that was kind of cool. We're gonna pan fry. I think I got a walleye and a half, maybe. No, just one walleye. I'm gonna fry up one potato, pan fry it, and that's that's gonna be it. I, I could eat two walleyes and four potatoes myself, but I know how sleepy I get after I eat. So, a little bit of this. Another uh, spice I like to use, like for shore lunch fries, is um, Montreal chicken. But can't really go wrong with seasoning salt. Can you, can you smell it? I got my fillets. I'm just gonna dunk these in the ice hole in some water, and then straight into the batter. And these potatoes are gonna be done soon. So, not doing anything fancy. We're gonna add Franks to everything, but you knew that already. The best part about staying in the ice castle is Jaden cleans up after you, which is just a huge bonus. To know that I can make a massive mess and it's gonna be sparkling for the next guest. It's just, it's just great. Same thing at home, you know? I don't understand how it works, but I leave my dirty laundry on the ground. <laughs> it's just done. Love you, Sam. And this is what it really needs. Little oil for the fish. Today on Shore Lunch ASMR, we're cooking walleye. Compared to the damage I normally do to Shore Lunch, this is like me being responsible right here. So, big fish, big fish. Okay, I'm gonna do nothing. I'm gonna do nothing. I'm just holding it like an inch off the mud. Oh, he just bumped it. Okay, I'm gonna try the lift. Oh, he's chasing. Yes, yes. Oh, baby. Come on. Oh, be a walleye. It's feeling like a burbot. I don't know. Wow, did I play with that mark. I wanna turn the camera down to show you guys, but I just gotta stay focused on this. You're not getting a great angle right now. I, th I think it's gotta be a big burbot with those head shakes. Oh, that's a big walleye. 
Come on, baby. Come on, we need you. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! You guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Look at that! That is a hog walleye right there! Oh baby. All right guys, I just gave her a drink. I'm giving you one more look at this Northwest Ontario beauty. The biggest thing with a big fish like this is just kind of holding it there. You can kind of move it side to side a bit, but dragging it backwards isn't what you want to do because that water needs to go forwards out the gills. So we're just going to give her a minute. That was quite the battle. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Guys, you can catch these big fish in the middle of the night, in the off times, you know? I, I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, you know? Like, we fished for, what time is it? It's 9.45 at night. It's like five hours after sunset now. It's, it's middle of the night, and uh, we just scored in the ice castle. This is so good, you know? When you're in a stationary spot like this, you can definitely go through lulls because you're not as mobile, but just because you're in the ice castle doesn't mean you're, you know, committed to the ice castle. You could still go out and fish, but you know, I wanted to stay hunkered down here. Obviously with the camera gear, it's a little bit easier. And this little jig has accounted for more big walleyes than anything else in my arsenal in the last couple years. And the hook is maybe a little bit small, but kept it pinned. Eight pound braid. 1,000 size stratic, eight pound floral leader, that tiny tungsten jig, I don't even know the millimeter sizes, I, I should know. I'll link all the specific stuff. Normally I don't link the specifics, I just link to the Frostbite website, I'll link all the specific stuff below, but yeah, this drench is uh, becoming my favorite rod. I just like, I love fishing and we are now on hour number 14? Seven hours left? No, what? Take that back. Don't challenge my math. It is 10.30, 11, 12, 1, 2. We have nine hours to go. 24, we've been 15 hours. 15 hours of fishing we have done. Um, obviously you've just seen little snippets of it, um, but we have had lines soaking the whole time. There's been no napping, that's, that's the key. There's no sleeping. I wanted to do 24 hours with no sleeping and we haven't slept yet. So it's 10.30, why don't we try a Monster Java Coffee and Energy Salted Caramel flavor. What time is it? 10.30, it's still early, cheers. Oh, 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 I can see the live scope. I can see the show. Sorry, Jaden. Can I hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's all over it. I think he's gonna eat it. I think he's gonna eat it. Come on. I feel like my body's just floating. Oh, he's on it. Yes, yes, yes. Big fish. Okay, maybe not that big. It's a decent fish. Ooh, what do we got? No, 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 no. Oh, baby. That was a nice fish, whatever it was. Ooh, that hurts. A little update for you guys. It is 12.11. We are gonna try the zero sugar energy drink made by Monster, the Zero Ultra. Ah, whew. Haven't seen a fish in a while. Watch another movie. Next up, Mr. Jim Shockey. Ah! Yep. What is this fish? This thing is just massive. Like, what is this? Oh my goodness. If this thing eats, I'm gonna just lose my mind. What is it doing? What is this? What am I looking at? What in the world was that? What was that? Some sort of freak of the night. 
Did, did you see that? What, what was that? Like what fish looks like that and does that? It is 2.20 in the morning, which means we've now been fishing for 19 hours, five hours to go. I'm feeling all right. I thought I'd feel a little nastier after those two energy drinks. I'm feeling good. I thought I'd be doing like loopy stuff and the video would get funny, but uh, we're not quite there yet. Oh, my sight's getting kind of blurry. PG-13 headed for style is violent to action. Spider bites him. That's how he gets his superpowers. Just ruined it for you guys. Oh, good stretch. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? 3.19. It's time for some rain energy. We're going to drink this sucker. And if we need to, what's happened to the five hour energy? The five hour energy, I don't know. They all make me feel weird. I'm not sure which is the lesser of the evils, but we're kind of on the home stretch now. I'm not sure my mic died. I just did bad things to my body. I made some pasta with some Alfredo sauce. And now I just did a quick workout. 6 a.m. We're in the home stretch. I've been awake for 24 hours now. I woke up yesterday at six. Started fishing at 7.15 or so, 7.20, somewhere in there. It's the most tired I've been all day. 6.52, 6. 52, coming at you live from Northwest Outfitters. I think it's called the Battle Laker, Ice Castle. I wanted Jaden to name one of the Ice Castles after me, but he said no. All right, I just need one fifth of this five hour energy. I just need like an hour of energy. Oh, my body's not happy with me right now. Wow, feels like I got just Oh, hit by a train. We did it! 24 hour fish-a-thon. I mean, it's not complete. I'm gonna fish her a bit yet, but we made it. 7.20 in the morning. We caught some fish. We had some fun. Wow, am I tired. I didn't get quite as loopy as I thought, but right now I just feel in rough shape. A couple more energy drinks than I would've liked, but we made it. Come experience the ice castle. It's a, it's a pretty cool experience, regardless if you're fishing one hour of your stay or 24 hours of your stay. There's definitely things to keep you occupied. There's board games, there's DVD players, there's beds if you want to have a nap, you can cook food. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's such a good hub, even if you do want to fish outside as well. But uh, huge shout out to my buddy Jaden. Once again, he'll be linked below. He's got two this season, two ice castles. He's your man. Lake of the Woods, if you want to fish Lake of the Woods in comfort, he is linked below. Such a cool trip. Here's a fish. He's coming to eat me. He's all over me. I'm so tired. Oh, he ate it. Oh, he took my minnow after all that. I don't think he's that big. They're hooked up. What do we have? It has been a while since we've caught a fish. It is now 8-12. Almost 25 hours since we started. And that is a beautiful walleye. We still got it. Well, that's a wrap. Uh, I think we did about 25 hours of fishing by the time it was all said and done. I was so wiped by the end. I wasn't super happy with my outro. So I thought I would do one in the office with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love doing different ideas, different. I don't do too many challenges, but 24 hours of straight ice fishing was something I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, it, it hurt me for like the next, the next 30 hours or so, but I am back. I'm recovered. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. And we'll catch you guys on the ice very, very soon.